Hello, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to combine multiple images together using the masking tool. So you can see this is five different images, but I was able to combine them pretty quickly, and here's how. So you're going to start with your uh, base image, which is, you can see I have right here, and you're just going to layer these on top of each other. And the way you layer these is you go to the separate image that you have open already, and you do Control A to select all, Control C to copy, and then come back to that master image and do Control V to paste. So you can see now I have five different layers, and we're going to work with these one at a time. So on this first layer, once I turn it on, you can see that this disappeared. So what I need to do is on that layer, I am going to make a mask by pressing this little button right here, and I'm going to hit Control I to make it black, you can see. And then if I go over here to my brush, make sure it's on 100%, and it's quite large right now, which is fine. Make sure the brush is white, and it's at 100%. And then what I can do is, I know he was right around here, so you can start brushing it. Yep, there he is. And I'm going to just mask that in right there, just get the rest of it. And I'm using a soft brush, that way the edges don't show up very well. And that looks pretty good right there. And so then I just go to the next layer, turn it on. Oop, he's right there. So I'm going to mask him again, pressing the masking layer, hitting Control-I and he has disappeared because again it is all black so I need to just mask in that white right there and that is about it right there so that looks pretty good next layer turn it on mask it control I and I believe he was over here so I'm just gonna turn that on a little bit and you can see I screwed up I got into that shoe right there so if I zoom in some I can see what's going on I can go back to that layer click reverse this to be black make it smaller and that way I can make sure that I'm not messing up the image below it all right and then the last one I'm going to zoom out I can see this good looking fellow looking up right here and I'm going to again mask that this button right here control I reversed it and use my white again and start putting him in there now the other thing I should do then is this last image I need to um, get rid of the chair as well. So I'll use that other one that I just had there. And I'll just go through and what I want to do though is zoom in and use a smaller brush and just go in there and get rid of it. Now, you're actually going to want to use a hard brush here uh, because it's going to be a lot trickier. Or what you could do is you could use a selection brush. Today's not really about real small refinements, things like that. So you can use it this way. You could use the uh, magnetic lasso tool. I'm going to leave that up to you, but uh, today's more about just adding these images using a mask. But in the end, there is the image. I guess the last thing I'd want to do is maybe crop it down to something like this, maybe a little lower. And I'm going to get image, crop, and then I would save that. So I'm going to do save as. I can choose JPEG then because I'm going to publish this online. And we'll call this test three. Hit save maximum quality, hit OK, and there's our image. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.